Well, good morning from uh, Aarhus, the final day for the 49er European Championships. And it's been quite a week, hasn't it? And uh, just hope the sea breeze cranks in. It's warm today, so that's a good sign for the finals. Hopefully the sea breeze comes in a little bit sooner, but it looks like it's going to be another day for the, uh, the light winders. But uh, the best sailors in the 49er fleet, as in most Olympic classes, are good enough across the range. So they shouldn't mind whatever gets thrown at them today for the finals. Interesting format that uh, the 49er class have come up with, this uh, top eight plus one moving through from the reaper charge. Uh, it's, it's, and we've got an interesting uh, combination in the, in the women's FX with uh, two very young Spanish sailors, talent of the future. Yeah, 15 and 16 year olds. It's just unthinkable that you could get into a boat like the 49er. I was, I was double the age when I started, so they're getting in really, really young now. But uh, there's so much experience to pass on, so they, they learn the basic skills of 49er sailing a lot quicker than we used to. But in the 49er for FX, uh, we looks like it could be um, the hometown that uh, could end up with a, a European champion. Yes, they, they look like they've got the skills to stay ahead and, um, yeah, uh, Ilda Nielsen and, uh, Nielsen and Marie Olsen, yeah, looking like uh, the, the form boat going into today. They're your pick? Uh, I don't know enough about the girls, and I, I, I suspect they don't know much about each other at, the, at this early stage of FX racing. There's only been six months of it, but ba based on the lead that they've got and the way they've sailed so far this week, you'd have to say so. I've been impressed by the big smiles on the faces of uh, that, the FX group. You know, it's their first year, but... Um Wow, if you're, if you're a young person looking to sell something exciting, it looks good. Yeah, they obviously love it, don't they? Yep. Well, on the men's side, uh, we saw great racing yesterday, late in the afternoon. And uh, Fletcher from uh, GBR, they, they look strong, but then the Kiwis uh, took out the last one. Uh, for me, I think they're the quality two crews in, uh, in the 49er class. But... I mean, if it's a bit tricky, anyone could come up. But for me, right. I, I like the look of those two. Yes, but you've got three 10-minute races in these final races today. They're, they're a very different format, uh, just uh, nine boats in the final, 10-minute races. Up and down these boundaries, which are being laid down beside us at the moment, these 400-metre ropes. So very different style of racing. So they, they start off the, the week, as they have done this week, with big fleets and big courses, and, and each day, they, they reduce and they reduce and not only, do, not only do the number of competitors reduce each day but so does the racetrack as well. So you're getting down to short course racing with a small number of boats, a different kind of set of skills, probably a little bit more boat speed oriented. Yeah, well, it's tricky. Look, I, I think a, another feature for me coming here, A, I've, I've loved Denmark coming back here after many years, but also there's a lot of innovation in the class. Obviously, the, the class itself is uh, you know, high-speed skiff, but the boundaries uh, and uh, I think the bibs that have been used, uh, best starter, fastest boat downwind, just adds a bit of flavour, doesn't it? So the new thinking, maybe they are the Facebook generation. Well, I think also the, the national flags, which the 49er class can take a lot of credit for. We're seeing that spread out into other forms of sailing, into, into all the Olympic classes. But the 49er has pioneered a lot of these ideas, and most of them have stuck. You know, what, what, what they've done and what they've pioneered tends to have become the norm in, in many aspects of sailing today. It certainly does. Well, we're uh, you know, in for a great finale for the um, 49er European Championships. Racing looks like it will get underway uh, on time uh, at 12 o'clock. Come and join us.